Hey, I'm Renee, and I remember this is like, I want to do like a color change. I'm going to take all of this off <laughs> because at this point, it's kind of ugly. Sorry, that's a kind of cool blood. Yeah, at this point, it's kind of ugly, and plus I have, uh, I have to do a fill, and I'm afraid to like let my fill, this is really outgrown for my standards when I do long nails. I do a fill like every other week or not even every other week as soon as like it starts to grow out a little too much i get anxiety thinking it's gonna like rip off and lift because they're so long so i'm gonna file them off do a fill and then we'll do like a freestyle because i'm not really sure what exactly i'm gonna do hi hello i've returned i did go and get some new gels some new gel polishes I bought three new ones. Um, don't ask me about these. This was a kind of cotton bag kind of buy because like, I'm gonna be for real Santas, workers and stuff and I'll just follow you around a little too much. And because they low key don't know what gel polish is, they think they can like open the, peep, open the nail polish in the store and paint it on your finger all ratchet like when in all actuality, you all have cheap gel polish that we don't really know what the color is. But it was $20. I bought a color I know I, I need, which is a red. Um, disclaimer, all these bottles are gross. So take with that what you will. And um, all of the brushes look like the Kylie Cosmetics brushes when they first came out. Yeah, they got the tornado brush syndrome. And the more you wipe off polish, the more like they stick up. So I don't know what's that about. It's an unknown brand, it's a random brand. I don't know what's it called, but it's whatever. So I have, I have a red. I have this pink color, which I'm very interested in using today. It's really pretty. It's a soft pink with some silver glitter in it. It's really pretty. And I have this purple with holographic glitter. They all have the tornado brush syndrome, so whatever. I don't really care. It doesn't bother me too much because I'm using these on myself. And if I'm using it on a client, I'll just dump it out in a palette and use like a brush. But um, yeah, th this is pretty. It's a more like grape colored. Um, purple, I prefer more violet tones, so I might like tweak and see if I can get it to the tone I want but this is pretty so what we're doing is I have a Sailor Moon mood board right now on Pinterest and we're gonna do a freestyle we're probably gonna do some type of nail art I'm liking this um, if I can do like no not that I shouldn't have refreshed the page but if I can do like a silhouette of Sailor Moon or something but we're gonna do a lot today because I am undecided and when I'm undecided I either make a mess or do too much I'm looking at that that's ooh, this nail her index finger here that's pretty so I might sit down and kind of draw draw that um, I like Sailor Moon. I like the aesthetic of Sailor Moon. I like magical girl aesthetics, period. I might not have watched like a full season of Sailor Moon, but I love the aesthetic. So the same Sailor Moon uh, silhouette. So let me just draw that. I might. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be reference going through Pinterest. And like, this is what I do for my nails 90% of the time. I just go through Pinterest and just like combine like four different designs into one set. And what I'm gonna do also I have this pigment from soft touch cosmetics you can't see it anymore and it's basically a glitter possibly there's no um is this mica so like there's no oils or anything but it's called rainbow sparkle and this also is a white with a gold shift so I was thinking I can condense it down here because this base coat is kind of sticky. It's the same base coat I've been using, the Rubber Grip base coat from uh, Enzotic Cosmetics. 
exotic meal and beauty. Okay, and I wanna put a matte top coat so I'll be able to draw on it because I'm doing art currently. Because like I said, it's a freestyle. I'm currently doing art on these two nails. I kinda like that, that's icy. It's been a hot minute since I've had a full hand of stilettos. I, I feel like a baddie. I mean, I've always been a baddie, but I took a break, girl. Anyway, I'm gonna use the Everything Nail Art Top Coat and Matte Top Coat, and I'm gonna cure that if I can get the bottle open. Yeah, I'm so sorry, I'm so gross. I'll go apply that and cure it and come back. Okay, so I have my canvases done, but before I start doing the nail art section, let's paint the rest of my nails. So I mentioned how I'm going for a color scheme, but this purple isn't doing much for me. This is too great for me, it's too red. So I have some mica pigments. I know I have a blue one. I was thinking if I mix my blue mica with the purple, it will look better. So I'm gonna attempt that. I want okay it might not look much on camera but I'm sure you'll see it when I get to the finished product this finger oh yeah that's that's what I want okay and then I don't want to do a fade but I want to use this pink but I don't know where I'm just being a mess here let me cover back this because if this spills I really want to leave my house to buy a next one Jeez, right let me see how this pink works okay so what I think I'm doing is that cured? No, it's just sticky. Okay. I forgot these are like old school gels, these. So they 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 they, they got a sticky layer. They're not like the clean color gels, the, the, the one-step gels that they dry shiny. Anyway, so my plan is I have my palette out, have my gel paints out, I have my gel polish. I'm using yellow I have this yellow pigment to like brighten up this yellow and I have these little sequin four-point stars I am honestly stumped I'm not sure what I want to do yet but I'll get there I can do maybe Luna on my thumb or maybe on my my ring finger and then draw one of her wands on my on my thumb. Anyway, I'll just start drawing, <laughs> and it'll do a time lapse because like this isn't really a tutorial per se. When I get my my scatter brain together, then maybe I I'll, I'll remake it or do like a voiceover, and then I'll make it make sense. But like I'm I'm honestly clueless as to what I'm doing right now. I just got hit with the reminder that yo I am left-handed <laughs> and I'm working on my dominant hand and my non-dominant hand and I want to draw all kind of intricate ass things. Let me see how this comes out. Okay so a quick view of what I'm doing as a quick view of what I'm doing I'm painting on the moon for what the what Luna is gonna be in Luna Artemis I really can't remember it's been so long since I've seen at least an episode of Sailor Moon but I am painting the moon just take your time as I said this is on my dominant hand so I'm using my non-dominant hand to paint this um for anyone 
who is like watching this and you're still beginning and you're struggling to paint your 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 dominant hand it's fine just like practice a lot because these days my dominant hand looks popping and my non-dominant hand looks kind of sloppy so it's it's kind of switching up but like i'm just painting the moon and you just gotta take your time with this i remember i mixed the pigment with the yellow gel polish now i'm using the black online oh, moon i'm drawing the cat so silhouettes i would like to say silhouettes i would like to say is like the easiest thing for me personally to draw because like it's literally what it is you gotta like imagine shapes and just like put them together and with silhouettes you don't have to like worry about a color bleeding into the next color because they tend to be just a monochromatic thing so you can just literally put down a blob and a blob of color and push and pull until it eventually starts looking like what you want it to and that's exactly what I did here eventually it started looking like the silhouette of a cat okay so I'm basically done I'm gonna outline but before I do that I remembered that I recently rediscovered y'all remember the anybody who does like nail art y'all remember these little spindle things with the the resin and I cannot twist it oh wow that's how old it is right with a little resin uh, rhinestones I have a spindle with little moons like look at that and like imagine I was about to throw this away so instead of struggling to draw the moon I could literally place it right there look at that ah genius things genius things only oh wow look at that a moon a crescent moon okay back with a voiceover um, you're seeing that I'm using white gel polish to outline my silhouette this part because it was just me using the black gel polish to outline the moon um, yeah I think that's all I did oh I added the little what's it called four point twinkle star things so it would look look more like a night sky and I think I believe I think I added the actual what do you call it sequins confetti of the four point star the four point star uh glitters i added like one or two i'm looking at my hand as i talk yeah i added like one big one and a bunch of the tiny little ones that comes in a pot so that's why i did to like finish off this nail in particular i'm gonna attempt this one. <laughs> oh god sucker for pain now when I say I'm a sucker for pain, I really mean it because this took like I think at least 30 minutes and I think it's because I am working on my dominant hand. What I did, as you can see on the screen right now, I'm outlining in white gel polish what I want my wand to be because it's one of the Sailor Moon wands. The name escapes me right now, don't ask me the name, don't quiz me but it's one of the pretty ones <laughs> and what I did I'm, I'm outlining it I gotta you gotta outline it first in white to make your colors pop and I guess like you really don't have to do that if you have gel paint because gel paint is much more pigmented than gel polish so if you have gel paint at your disposal then go straight in with your color but i unfortunately do not have that luxury so i have to outline the whole thing in white more silhouette work basically and make sure that it looks okay it resembles the shape of the object that you want and in my case i have to make sure and get all the bumps that can be found on the parameter of the the reference photo and sure it's outlined properly um, I'll skip this part because this isn't exciting. This is a lot more work and I doubt anybody want to see this. Maybe in a future video I'll leave it in but I'm gonna cut it out. Right, now in this clip you're seeing me actually like filling my colors. So the actual handle of my wand was in a light pink and now I'm 
painting and the red part it kind of looks like a lollipop if you think about it so like those actual like globe lollipops that if i would come back on frame you'll be seeing it properly those actual globe lollipops that have like a band around the center yeah uh it looks like that but like kind of crooked so you gotta for these type of intricate type of nail arts you gotta like look at your shapes and find like real life references at least that's what i do so for my idea of what's the red part it looks like a lollipop to me so i painted it as such um you see me dipping into the yellow i'm filling in the crescent moon that kind of cradles the lollipop part the crescent moon and then beneath the crescent moon there's a heart a heart shape but i don't think i fill it in yet if i would eventually come on screen you would be seeing it but unfortunately things happen but i'm filling in if you look at your co the corner of the screen you'll see i'm filling in the wings part because there's a little wing piece right below the crescent moon there's a pair of wings on each side so i'm filling that in this whole process is a lot of flash curing so i would recommend if you have like one of those mini uh uv lamps that like you just press a button and it cures for like 30 seconds or something that would be a good idea to invest in one especially like if you like doing nail art those mini uv lamps they really come in as a lifesaver even the flashlight uvs they work so you're seeing on on screen about what I'm literally I'm just outlining the colors so like I outlined the I made those, and then like I'm painting in my color and then in the last clip I believe you'll see me oh, this clip I'm outlining so now here's a tip when you outline I have knowledge with digital painting and a rule in digital painting that I I follow is to never outline your drawings in black I thought that I could transfer that rule into real life with nail art don't do that outline your drawings in black it gives it a much crisper look because I did it in a dark purple basically the same thing I do on paint to side or um, Photoshop I outline my line art in a deep purple like not black but like a deep color that will look like black but it softens it no that doesn't translate translate well into real life so you're seeing me struggle with this gel much darker than this is but i'm outlining i'm outlining i'm doing the wings right now and that's basically it when it comes to doing semi-detailed to detailed nail art it's just blocking out colors and then having a steady enough hand to outline everything gonna attempt this attempt keyword attempt on this finger okay back at it again with a voiceover you're gonna see me do another silhouette situation like the first finger was a cat and this finger is going to be a uh, humanoid-esque the closest thing to a human <laughs> um, so I showed you the reference pic it's basically a side profile of Sailor Moon a very detailed side profile um, I'm not too happy with how I did it but like I'll show you I'll walk you through how I did mine 
um, once again you gotta just see it and kind of this push and pull the color this this really works when you're doing human silhouettes where you have to actually do like you have to make a defined point for the nose, you have to make a defined point for the lips, defined points for the chin. But I don't think this style of silhouette had like a decent like point for the lips. I think it's old school side view anime where the characters don't really have lips, it's just like a straight line. So in that aspect, it's kind of like um, a better you're at an advantage more or less because like you don't have to like have a semi decent decent ratio between your nose your lips and your chin I really can't remember if I added lips or not because the finger that has the silhouette on right now is plain because I picked it off because I had like I had, I'm anxious and when I'm anxious I pick off my nail polish so that was my victim but you're seeing me you just i think i don't i didn't like how i did her neck area i think i did her neck a bit too skinny but remember this is not an art class and if you think that anybody would notice i'm guaranteeing you once people see like a lot of intricate things being drawn on your tiny nail people are gonna be impressed and sometimes you just have to tell yourself that yes you might not be happy with it but somebody else who would see your nails and ask to see it they'd be impressed with what you have going on so don't be too hard on yourself I wish I can take my own advice so it's better better said than done but I think right you put the bun and now I'm just drawing the strands of hair that's supposed supposedly wrap around the tip of my nail and also if we're doing this on stiletto let me tell you something stiletto is a much smaller surface compared to all of the other nail shapes so you actually have like a tapered surface that's a lot of curves to work with so even if it doesn't look to your standard you should be proud of yourself because most people do nail art on square or coffin or even round nails but if you're following this you're doing this on stiletto and that in that in it in itself is a flex hi this is a day later and I'm just gonna do my middle finger and my pinky because I honestly didn't know what I wanted to do also I don't have a uh, gem gel so I'm using clear builder gel the remnants of what's inside here and that's what we're gonna do to finish up this set Don't ask me what I'm doing. I just have all of my fancy gems out and I'll make it work like that. I'm not the best with gem placements, but this is what we're doing today. So don't ask me about my pinky because I really did a, like a whole, a whole load of nothing. It was really, truly random. So the star of this, this part of the show is my ring finger, my middle finger, sorry. What I did, I made a heart with micro beads, yeah? So basically, what I'm doing right now, I'm making a makeshift wand. Um, it's not inspired by any Sailor Moon wand, but it does look Magical Girl-esque. So I'm using some of my micro beads and some of my smaller, I think these are met metal embellishments to make the, not the stem, the handle part. And I'm just, moving and placing them and making sure they don't shift because remember this isn't gem gel this is regular cheap builder gel so it's gonna slip and slide um what i'm doing now is that i mix that same builder gel with some red mica pigments and i'm putting it within the the beads that i made to form the heart and just to give it like a kind of 3d look and then I cured it. Um, it did slide out of the side of the heart because I had some beads that weren't too tightly packed, but it still looks nice. I never changed it because like I was satisfied with it because this is revolutionary. <laughs> um, what I'm doing on top, I'm just I'm just adding like a bunch of rhinestones. I had some 
SS6 opal rhinestones, white opal rhinestones. I just surrounded that and put that on top of the heart. And then I put like a random plastic pink rhinestone on top of the cluster of rhinestones, circular rhinestones that I have on top of the heart. And then I believe I put like a, a red rhinestone. I think that's Siam, Siam AB if I'm pronouncing. Yeah, it's Siam AB. It's an orange tone red. And I'm surrounding it with my same mixture of mica and Biller gel. I cured it at a top coat. And that's about it. And here's the finished design. I worked real hard at it. This shit took roughly two days and I know my nails grew out so I wanted to finish it today it is 4 a.m. I started this 3 o'clock anyway I'll see y'all next time and thanks for watching see ya